Do you want free gems in Brawl Stars? I'm sure most of you didn't hesitate to say yes, but for some of you, a little voice in the back of your mind might be asking, is this too good to be true? Today, we're diving into the dark side of Brawl Stars, deep into a world where seemingly innocent offers can lead to dangerous scams and the potential loss of your entire account. So how do these scams work? And what can you do to protect yourself? Stay tuned as we unravel a chilling real life story that just might make you think twice before clicking that confirm button. This isn't just a story, it's a warning. Now for privacy reasons, I'm going to leave the identity of the individual in discussion anonymous, but just know this is indeed a real case that I was highly involved with. For everything to make sense, it's important for me to catch you guys up to speed with the situation. So let's rewind the clocks back to their first interaction. On August 17th, the supposed scammer invited this anonymous individual to a team group chat, where he first asked him whether or not he wanted free gems in Brawl Stars. Now, as most would respond, he said yes. You have to consider the fact that this scammer was on his friends list for over two years, so most wouldn't suspect anything of it. In fact, you would be open to the idea, thinking that it's just one friend doing something nice for another with no strings attached. However, as their conversation went on, it was clear that his intentions were much, much more sinister. When the individual asked why he was giving him free gems, his response was quite stubborn, saying, do you want it or not? This was the first red flag that something wasn't right, as the scammer wasn't open to much clarification or explanation. The individual didn't see too much into it and agreed that he wanted the gems. This scammer, who I will henceforth refer to as Brawler, strangely informed him that he couldn't issue the gems directly from the Supercell store because, and I quote, you need to enable payment through Supercell ID so that I can gift the items. This obviously makes no sense. But the individual listening to the scammer though, reached out to Supercell support in game. However, no response was provided, seeing as though he had to submit a support request. He informed Brawler of the situation. However, he replied telling him not to message Supercell support through the game, but instead by email since it would be, as he put it, much quicker and simpler. He then directed the individual to a sketchy email, posing as Brawl Stars support, asking for strange personal information. The email address was fittingly named official Brawl Stars Supercell at gmail.com, which, if you didn't already know, is not their real email. And if anything needs to emphasize that they are indeed official, they are, in most cases, the exact opposite. In fact, the email account is rather shady too. They have no profile, just the standard letter with the colored background, and their name, Brawl Stars Supercell, is even more telling. For starters, they didn't separate Brawl from Stars, writing it as Brawl Stars instead. This also meant they didn't capitalize Stars, which suggests they mistakenly treated it as one word. If you were a legitimate support account for a massive mobile game, you would know how to spell your game's name correctly. Based on these indicators, it seemed that Brawler was the one operating this email account, because as soon as the individual sent the email, they received a response back, not in a matter of minutes, but in a matter of seconds. Believe it or not, the response was also extremely suspicious. They provided the individual with four separate options, account security, account recovery, deleting my account, and lo and behold, activate payments through ID. The exact same thing Brawler was telling him to do within their team chat. Soon after, the individual replied with option four, and to no one's surprise, they responded back. But interestingly enough, in less than a minute, saying they were unable to activate that option and would need more information from him. Personal information that was tied to his account. Player ID, name, trophy count, and strangely a screenshot of the recovery codes. They mentioned that this is the verification step that is crucial in confirming your ownership of the account. Recovery codes are basically your saving grace to your account if anything serious were to happen. And this individual wanted to capture those and use them at his own will. Now being the investigator I am, I examined the screenshots of their email chat log and noticed something very peculiar, the time of the response. If you look at the time the messages were sent, you would see that they were sent at 11 p.m. This is Eastern Standard Time. Brawl Stars is run by a company located in Helsinki, Finland, 
which means their time zone is not EST, but rather EEST, which is Eastern European Standard Time, seven hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time. This means that if it was genuinely them, they were actively replying to his messages at 6 a.m. their time. To put it bluntly, no legitimate company support will respond to you within seconds about an issue at 6 in the morning. It's just not happening. Ironically, in the email reply, they clearly mention that for the security of your account, do not disclose these codes to anyone. They are right about one thing, which is that you should never disclose these codes to anyone. So then why are they asking for them? This completely contradicts the statements that they made earlier in the message. That was really the final nail in the coffin for the scammer. The individual then went back and told him that he was no longer interested in receiving the gems because he felt it was too risky. However, Brawler was not going to give up that quickly, and he did something that really proved how important it was that he acquired the account. He asked him if he had Discord, or WhatsApp, intending to move their conversation to an external platform in which Supercell could not monitor. This would allow the scammer to gather more information and appear more personable without being tracked. He wanted their conversation to come across like a casual chat between friends, rather than a calculated plot to steal his account. After being rejected, he went in for the final blow. He shockingly asked him if he wanted 900 gems. This was the scammer's last attempt. The decision to increase the gem offer from 180 to 900 was a calculated move to manipulate his response at a critical moment. Knowing he was on the verge of saying no, the sudden spike in the offer aimed to create urgency and excitement, making it seem like an incredible opportunity that he could not afford to pass up. This tactic not only caught him off guard, but also enticed him to reconsider his decision. By offering an unrealistic amount, the scammer hoped to exploit his moment of hesitation, making it easier to persuade him and ultimately share the info he needed. After he declined, it was clear that he was not happy at all. It got to the point where the scammer became more and more demanding, assertive, and quite volatile. Unfortunately, before their exchange escalated to this degree, he made a mistake by inviting this scammer into my club because he had around 70,000 trophies and wasn't in a club of his own. I'm sure everyone's initial thought would be, hey, this person's been on my friends list for a while, he's a pretty good player, let's add him to the club. However, a quick search on the Brawl Stats website would reveal a long history of club hopping, chillingly suggesting that this may not have been his first target or victim, and that others out there might have faced a more unfavorable fate. With all of this said, instead of the scammer agreeing and acknowledging the situation, he then moved on and asked if he could be promoted to vice president or president. This sort of came out of left field since their conversation had nothing to do with that. However, it did make some sense. This was most likely a method of capturing more targets or sabotaging the entire club. What people do is they join a club and ask to be promoted so they can destroy it from the inside, kicking everyone and then leaving. This was most likely his intention, seeing as though he did not get his way and as a presumed punishment, he would destroy the individual's club. After he rejected and the scammer realized he wasn't getting the account, he quickly left the team chat and unfriended him to prevent getting caught or exposed. Luckily, he was able to obtain screenshots of his in-game account and ID before he got unfriended. In a nutshell, there were numerous red flags throughout their exchange. First, he made unrealistic offers, initially presenting 180 gems and later escalating to an impossible 900 gems, which raised immediate suspicions. Additionally, he requested personal information through a fake support email account that he likely created himself. The fact that he responded within seconds, coupled with the mismatch between his time zone and supercells, indicated that something was up. Furthermore, Brawler pushed to move the conversation to Discord, a tactic commonly used to avoid tracking by game developers. And lastly, he demanded to be promoted to club president, likely intending to dismantle our club from the inside, or luring other members with false promises of free gems. So with all of that said, the only real way to pay back the scammer would be to catch him in the act and expose him that way. My intent was to set a trap. Knowing Brawler might be wary, I sent him a friend request on one of my dormant mini accounts, 
to avoid any suspicion that something would be going on. If I were to do it from my main account, I would risk being exposed and blowing my cover, because a quick glance at my profile would reveal my name, code Michael, which you should all use if you're making purchases in any Supercell game, alongside the creator's icon and my club. So I needed to refrain from making stupid mistakes like that to jeopardize my chances of catching him. Unfortunately, no matter how many times I tried to send him a friend request, nothing worked. I assumed he turned on blocked friend request or continuously rejected mine because he knew I was coming to avenge my clubmate. But that won't stop me. I will continue to try and see if I can get him at it. And who knows, maybe we'll return for a continuation where I trap him in the act for a future video. 1000 likes and I'll try to make that happen.